Hi, it's Steve Swain here. Uh, just a short video to show you this neat little application I've found for manipulating images. It's called Impreso Pro, and I've been using it to modify some Second Life photos I've taken and turn them into an impressionist looking painting. Uh, it's a good little app. This is a bit of an overview of some of the features of it. It's got a layer system, it's got different styles and strokes you can overlay. Um, color palettes, brush strokes, bristles styles, strengths, color strengths. You can make certain parts of the image uh, more detailed than the surrounds. And you can save it out in a number of formats. Um, it's quite an impressive little application. It's very quick to learn and it's got a whole heap of presets at the bottom which you can use as a starting point to hone what you want to achieve with your particular image. Uh, and the tools are, are quite excellent. I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate on one of my images and you can have a quick look to see how, what you think of the app and whether it would be suitable for you to use for what you do. Okay, so this is one that I've previously saved. I'll just uh, open up another one now. This is from visiting a sim called Bal Harbour a few weeks ago. And it's a question of finding an image that would be suitable for this effect. Not all images are. Um, I think that one there looks quite good, so we'll use that. First of all, it loads in with the default paint settings, which makes a fairly sort of, uh, I don't know, a rough impressionist looking quick sketch. You've got a whole bunch of presets which you can use to give quite different looks depending on what you want to try and achieve. This one will uh, provide more detail, make it a more rustic looking aged look and make the edges a bit uh, faded out. It's quite a nice look. On top of this, you've got a detail section which they've done assuming there was a person in the middle. Uh, you can reduce or change this to suit uh, what you want the detail to be in. The lower the number, the greater the detail, the higher the number, the less of the detail. And every time I click apply, it redoes the algorithm and makes it slightly different to look at. Or you can choose one of the others and keep working your way through the presets. As you can see, they each make quite a different appearance to it. Well, I quite like this one, the way it's done that. It's then possible to add in some detail. Say you wanted the cobbles and that section of focus in the middle of the image to be more better defined. There you go. You can enhance the colour because paintings tend to have more vivid colours than reality until you get a look that you like. I quite like that so I'm going to save it out. It takes a while and this is when it does its high resolution uh, painting effect on the whole image. You can save it in a variety of formats, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, depending if you're going to do any post work later on, on top of what this has produced. And you give it a name, and save. So it's as simple as that. I hope you uh, find this little app interesting. Once again, it's called Artista Impreso. 
Pro. I've been using it on Apple Macintosh. It's I haven't checked, but I'm pretty sure it's probably also available for Windows computers. Thanks for watching.